My grandfather was Henry Davis, and my father was uh, Harold Leslie Davis. My full name is Henry Hugh Davis. I uh, have lived on this farm all my life. I was born here September the 6th, 1924. That is my sons Dave, David and Nicole's house with where the five grand youngest grandchildren live. Up here, pass a couple over here. Right. My name is David Davis, and I'm a, a dairy farmer, um, fourth generation dairy farmer. Our dairy here is part of the Hudson Bay farm. A day on the farm here is, uh, it's always the same. Um, we have a herdsman uh, come in at 5.30. We milk at six, two, and 10. Come on, sweethearts, out you go. Come on, ladies. Through this, uh, there's a vacuum system. This is a weighing device, and this will weigh. And then from here, it'll go down into that receiver jar and then pump it into the milk tank. 2 16th is just above us here, and they're gonna put an overpass in up here. And to put a, a major cloverleaf overpass, they're going to want some, some arterial roots in, and um, I just hope that they don't have any ideas of putting it through cheap farmland. When I went to school, there was 2,000 people lived in Langley, and of course today there's maybe 130,000, and it's just growing. In the first 30 years, I never worried about it because there wasn't that pressure. With five kids, and, and, I, and if anybody of them wants to be in agriculture, well then, you know, we're sure gonna try to stay there. But things 20, 30 years will change. Agriculture is, is a small part of the big picture. Agriculture potential doesn't necessarily it can it can go on for it can go on for years hundreds of years you uh, if, if you take away the potential if you take it away and put a road through and put a bunch of houses on prime farmland it's gone by attending the council meetings I uh, learn what thing what is going on not so much against the Mufford overpass as against the route it took after it went over the railway where it covers a lot of real good farmland uh, the project consists of an overpass over the railway lines and over the Glover Road existing Glover Road to connect one side to the other side to make sure that tra tra uh, vehicular traffic in a east-west direction is able to uh, not be impeded by, by train. We need to rely on, on local residents, including farmers, to provide their input to council. And ultimately, the, the structure of governance in our, in our uh, country uh, will, will prevail. <laughs> Father, uh, he's very large, part of this farm, the, I call the heartbeat of the farm. If anybody was connected to a piece of soil, uh, my father would be uh, connected very heavily. I would like to see at least uh, one or two of them carry on the farming. Can make enough money that we can pay the bills and that sort of thing. This is the diptych that tells the measurement of the milk in the tank. Right now, it's 22 inches. I feel lucky to have grown up here. I know lots of people come down the road and they say, what a beautiful farm and you're lucky. And I say, well, it's a lot of work too. But I, I do feel lucky uh, and uh, um, yeah, I do feel lucky. In the future, yes, I'm worried about it. Come on, sweets. Come on, babes. Come on. Okay, Oliver, get out. If you have a council that's not agriculture oriented, or if you don't, if you don't have a strong agricultural land commission that can that can stop the uh, erosion of farmland, um, 
then, then I, I do worry about it. Support agriculture in your community. Um, Langley is a beautiful place to live. Let's keep it a beautiful place. Let's keep the farmland, farmland. Let's keep houses where houses belong. We've been here for over 100 years. You know, he says he's going to die here. I'm going to die here too. So kind of a good place to die. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'll retire here as long as I can. <laughs> Thank you.